Hello, we're the Heathers. My name is Jessica. My name is Brandon. And this is our story. I think like many, I was baptized as an infant. I grew up in a home where we didn't go to church all the time, but my interest in religion was encouraged. I had a Bible. I read about other religions. I considered myself a believer, um, but that was about it. I didn't have a super close relationship with God, I would say. Uh, that served me fine until young adulthood, where I had a number of pretty difficult years. I had a number of tragedies, kind of weeks apart, back to back to back. And from then on, I was in a pretty difficult time in my life, probably the most difficult time. Uh, I didn't want to get out of bed. I stopped going to class. And my relationship with God was kind of non-existent, other than to think, where was he? How could he let this happen to me? Uh, and I got in a place where I blamed him, and then I didn't really think about him at all for a number of years. Thankfully, I found my way back. Uh, I grew up a bit, and I started getting back to the church, reading the Bible, attending church at least online for a while and eventually uh, back in person. And I just kind of went through those motions for a few years. But I still carried this guilt of the years that there'd been this real strain in my relationship. I felt like a bad Christian, uh, like maybe I didn't fully deserve to have a full relationship with Christ again. And it wasn't until we found our way to Mountain Ridge almost a year ago that that kind of all changed. One of the first um, Sundays that we attended, Brett spoke about an ebb and flow in faith that really spoke to me and those troubling years that I'd had. And it was the first time that I didn't feel like a good Christian was someone that always believed in God 100% and never wavered in their faith. And that, over the following months, really worked on my heart and my spirit and that guilt that I'd been carrying. And so for me today, this rebaptism as an adult is kind of a way for me to permanently let go of that guilt and leave it in the past and kind of start my relationship with God fresh and anew. And for me, now that I'm a mother, it's important for my kids to know and understand that being a Christian is not a straight path. It wavers both ups and downs, and your relationship with God is the same way. And that's okay, that's how it's supposed to be. We'd all like to believe that we can just have full faith all of the time, and that's just not life for a lot of people, and that's all right. All that matters is that we continue down that path. We keep looking for support. We keep looking for that faith and finding our way back in those difficult times. And I just want people to know that that's okay. And for me today, uh, this is reinstating to myself that I'm a good Christian. For me, um, never been baptized. When I was very little, I did grow up in the church with my great grandma, Mary. She's the one that really helped take care of me. I went to preschool and church. And when I became school age, that's when, you know, my path started changing. My, my parents didn't go to church. We, you know, never really talked about religion. Um, most of the time, my interactions with Christ and with religion is with my great grandma, Mary, but you know, as you go through life, you're you're not with that person as often. So I just went through my life and grew and separated myself from religion and, um, you know, went down a path that started to take me away from it. And it's been, you know, 30 years now since, you know, I was really into the church. And like Jessica was saying, we've been coming to Mount Ridge for about a year now. and everything just started clicking and just felt right. Like I told Pastor Brett when we had lunch together was, it felt home again. I felt my grandma Mary, I felt everything about Christ again. And I've been wrestling with getting baptized. Um, it was just something that 
I felt like I wanted to do and I had to do, but I didn't feel like I did the right things as a Christian to be able to go through that process. But I had lunch with Brett one day and it, everything I'd been talking to God and, and about in my own mind, Brett was bringing out. And that was my sign that I needed to get this done. It's the next step. and. I'm extremely happy now. And it's a good example for my kids. Mount Ridge has been amazing for them. Um, all of them, from the littlest one, Xander, Savannah, Connor, they all are growing exponentially here now. And I'm ready to take that next step. And that's what I'm doing today. And I can't wait for my children to take that next step. And like they've been saying, you know, recently is, Dad, we're seeing the change in you, and we love it. So that's what this is about. It's about continuing my change and my growth as a Christian and as a man. Thank you for listening.